Okay. So, uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, a particle starts from rest, and its acceleration is given by this formula here, meters per second squared. Um, how far did it travel in the fourth second? A uh, couple of things about this. Let's, let's try to read the problem carefully and see what we know about kinematics, about this stuff so far, okay? Because we're going to be using our notes from here, and then a little bit more stuff to answer this. Um, first up, and that bit right there starts from rest tells us something. Um, that tells us, that tells us at the beginning, at t equals zero, um, it's velocity equals zero, okay? So that's going to come in handy when we do my uh, velocity function. Okay, so that's, whoops, that's, that's the first bit. Another bit, <coughs> let's try how far, how far. Uh, how far has to do with distance. So how far is going to be uh, something to do with displacement. So how far is going to be S something. And this right here in the fourth second, in the fourth second. If it's accelerating, it's going to be doing a different distance for each second if it's accelerating. So it won't be doing a constant distance each second. So what this means in the fourth second is it's going to be uh, the distance, the displacement after four seconds minus the displacement after three seconds. And that's how much it has traveled in the fourth second. So that's kind of a tricky way to say that. All right. So moving on, if we're given the acceleration thing, the first thing we have to do is get, <coughs> dif uh, where are we here, anti-differentiate to get the velocity first. Okay. So let's do that. Find the velocity function first by anti-differentiating this. And we add one to the exponent and divide by that new exponent. Uh, negative 6 uh, anti-differentiates to 6t. And of course, plus our constant. So simplifying my velocity function, 12t cubed over 3 gives me 4t cubed, of course. This just gives me negative 6t. Now here's where this information helps me out, because my constant is going to equal 0 if I'm starting from rest at t equals 0. If I'm starting from rest, if the particle is starting motionless, that means my constant of integration for velocity will be 0. So I don't need to put anything there. I've got the velocity function so far. So next up, I'm here, velocity, and I want to get the displacement function, so I do the anti-differentiation again, and I'm going to get a constant again, or C. Add 1 to the exponent, 4t4, four four, divide by the new exponent. Add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, plus the constant. Simplify. 4 over 4 gives me 1. That's just t to the 4th. <coughs> minus 3t squared plus c. Now here I can't assume c is 0. Okay? I mean, I can't... It starts from rest, but I'm, I'm not sure if it starts from the origin. I don't know anything. So I have to leave that as c for the moment. I can't do anything just yet. So now I've got the displacement function. I'm ready to do this, and there's going to be some plus c's at the end of it, but that's, that's okay. So the distance after 4 seconds total is going to equal um, 4 to the power of 4 minus 3 times 4 squared plus c. I don't, so after 4 seconds, um, that has traveled... This actually works out to be 16 plus some number I don't know. Okay. And then I go, okay, what about after 3 seconds? How much did it travel in, in 3 seconds? Um, substitute 3 into the displacement equation. Whoops, not 3. Oh, no, that's right. Hello. 
uh, 3 to the power of 4 minus 3 times 3 squared plus C. I don't know what that is yet. And I work this guy out. Now for this guy, I think if I did my calculations correctly, um, I get a negative number, which seems kind of weird now, but it'll work when I subtract it. Negative 60.75 plus C. All right, so these two guys are going to be pretty crucial to use. Okay, after some corrections here, that guy's 208. 54 here, sorry about that. Um, so the fourth second's going to be, um, like we said, it's going to be uh, the distance traveled after four, subtract the distance traveled after three. And what that looks like, uh, this right here is 208 plus some constant, minus this right here, 54, plus a constant. And like I was mentioning earlier, the, these C's are just going to cancel out. So I've got uh, 208 minus 54. And of course, uh, the C minus C, well, C minus C just equals 0. So that gives me 154 meters that that particle will travel in the fourth second pretty fast. There we go. Not too bad. Hopefully we don't make mistakes like I did here. Yeah, what I